I have got a lot of stuff to show you tonight. And we're going to spin the wheel quite a few times tonight to give you guys some free stuff. So if you guys are ready for some magic goodness, I know I am too. It is Taco Tuesday. It is that time again. So it's good to have you guys with us. If you haven't yet, make sure to turn on your live notifications so the next time we go live, I'm giving you a chance to see not only brand new magic trick stuff, but a chance to win it too. Make sure you have those notifications turned on. Welcome to tonight's live stream. Let's get started, my friends. Here we go. All right, all right. What's shaking, everybody? My name is Luke Dancy, and welcome to tonight's Taco Tuesday New Magic Time. That's right. Every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, we go live with you guys, giving you your first look at brand new magic tricks and also your chance to win some on the old prize wheel. So, uh, yeah, just say the word win in the comments. We'll get you on the wheel for tonight for some of those live giveaways. Okay, so speaking of which, our weekly giveaways from last week. Well, they had a chance to win some great stuff as well. Uh, they both had a chance to win, Facebook and YouTube. And thank you, David, for the love. If you haven't done that yet, make sure to follow David. Uh, our giveaway from last week was for this, the 4K Color Vision box from Brent Braun, uh, the Magician Fuller, the Everyone Fuller, the Classic Vision Box, now made even better. And we're giving away two copies right now, one from Facebook and one from YouTube from last week. Let's go ahead and jump on in and give away our first thing of the night. Again, these are the weekly giveaway winners, so make sure that you follow the instructions on how to enter. This is for YouTube. Last week, these are the people that commented below the video after the live stream. If you haven't done that yet, make sure to do it yourself. Let's see who's going to win a 4K color vision right now. Let's spin it on up. Again, these are for people from YouTube, so everyone from YouTube that got interactive with us uh, and basically just dropped a comment below last week's video, you're on this wheel right now. For a free copy of the 4K Color Vision YouTube fam. Who's it going to be? Who is it going to be? Getting close. Chris Curry, Howard Markowitz. We got Bill Sharp coming in here. Maybe Bill Sharp. Maybe Bill Sharp. All right. So let me just take down his name right there. Congrats to you, Mr. Bill Sharp. All right. So that is our first winner tonight. Again, these are our weekly giveaway winners. These aren't our live giveaway winners, okay? Uh, that, of course, is YouTube, and I also have Facebook keyed up right here. Again, these are the people that commented on the video last week and also showed their love. Make sure you do both to enter. Let's see who's going to win from Facebook from last week. Here we go. Let's spin it on up. Thank you, Terry, for the love. Thank you so much. Here is last week's weekly giveaway winner from Facebook. And if you want to, you can enter on both. You can enter on Facebook and YouTube if you want to uh, double dip. You're more than welcome to. You are definitely more than welcome to. So let's see here from the Facebooks. We're getting close. We've got Derek Bumpus coming in, or is it going to be Dominic St. Jacques? Oh, man, it's like right on the edge. Derek Bumpus, congratulations, my friend. Congratulations! You were the winner for the Facebook giveaway for the 4K Color Vision. So let me just take your name here, Derek Bumpus. There we go. Congrats, my friend. And to both of those winners, of course, a big congrats goes out to you and drop me an email, luke at murphysmagic.com to claim your weekly giveaway prize. Of course, you guys also get one of these. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. There we go. So a big congratulations to both of you. Uh, so if you can't join us live every week, I know we have people watching these things later, make sure you do enter the weekly giveaways. And you're probably asking yourself, Luke, what is the weekly giveaway? Well, you know, funny enough, maybe a little deja vu here. We're going to do it again. We're going to hook you guys up with two more copies of the 4K Color Vision. These are the two ways to enter right here. Make sure you do the first one and the second one. And again, YouTube, make sure you comment below the video after it's done streaming. The live chat doesn't count. Make sure you post comments. Tell me your favorite thing from this week, favorite product, or again, maybe some new magic that you're working on. We're going to give it away again. Deja vu. That is the weekly giveaway. Congrats to our weekly winners from this week, and good luck to all you guys on this coming up giveaway as well. So there you go, 4K Color Vision. All right, so that is your weekly giveaway. Do both of those things to enter. It really is that easy, okay? Okay, so we are gonna get into some live giveaways in just a couple minutes here, but first, I'm gonna give you your first look at Friday's preview. New magic tricks coming out on Friday that you're not gonna see anywhere else until right now. That's right, right now. This is your first look at the Genesis system from Adam Wilbur. 
This is very visual stuff, very, very visual. So while this is playing, I'll add some of you guys to the wheel if you're not on there yet. And we'll be spinning our first live giveaway winner here very soon. So don't you guys go anywhere. Here is your first look though at the Genesis system. We will be right back. Yes, we will. We will be right back. All right. Hey, Adam Wilbur here and welcome to the trailer for the Genesis system. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever been performing for someone and they said to you, hey, if you're a magician, make money up here. I get asked this of me all the time. And I've always wanted a way to be able to pull out a blank piece of paper and have the spectator watch as a bill magically appeared. Like CGI, but without any camera tricks. Well, that's exactly what the Genesis system is and so much more. I'm sure you've heard of friction ink. That's the pens where you can write something, put some heat to it, and that ink will disappear. Very cool concept. The downside is the ink would never come back you'd have to put it in a freezer or somewhere really cold for that ink to come back. Well, the Genesis system takes that idea and flips it on its head. See, we now have the ability to pull out a blank piece of paper front and back and make ink appear. So in this kit, you're going to get self-printing bills, self-printing playing cards, self-printing silhouettes of celebrities and things like that. We talk a lot in the magic industry about packing small and playing big. These are nothing more than a few pieces of paper and they play massive. So let me explain to you my favorite routine out of the entire kit. It's called Pirate's Booty. This routine starts with you pulling out a blank piece of paper and they watch as a treasure map magically appears. Think of the Harry Potter trailer, but in real life. The spectator then takes a Pirate's Booty, a little card with a coin on it, and decides what island they're gonna hide that in. When you pull the map back out, you start seeing footprints walk to exactly the location they chose. There's obviously a kicker ending, and it's a really fun piece to perform. The next routine in Genesis is my take on the ash on palm. So it's a voodoo theme where the spectator holds a business card that's got the palm of a hand on it. They stare directly in the center of the palm of the hand, and they see a blood stain start appearing out of nowhere. Obviously, you talk about voodoo, and you can go along with my presentation or add your own to it. But as they look at their hand, it's got a matching blood stain on their hand. This one gives people goosebumps, and it's super fun to All right, that's all I can show you guys for right now, but that is your preview for the brand new Genesis system from Adam Wilbur. So again, that does release on Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. I would love to hear your thoughts over in the comments. Tell me what you guys think about this one. Obviously, very visual, very, very visual stuff here. Uh, and not hard to do, which is always uh, a plus as well. And thank you, Ruben, for the follow. Thank you so much, Ruben, for the love out there. Uh, first question coming in, we got uh, Seth saying that's interesting magic. Yes, I would agree. And thank you, Robert, for the love. I do see you out there, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, Byron says, uh, damn amazing. Not just amazing, but damn amazing. Kimberly's out there like, that is awesome looking. I love it. She is loving it. All right, all right. Uh, David wants to know how much, how much are we looking at? That's always a great question. Uh, let me just pull up the official page here to show you guys that right here. Uh, there's the info, $75. And again, this includes a complete set of these gimmicks to play with uh, and to perform with. Of course, you get the map, as Adam said there. You're going to get all sorts of playing cards to make those appear. Celebrities, some of those, some other images. And there's a look at pretty much a complete set. Everything you're going to get minus the camera in there, obviously. No, no cameras included. So there you go. Genesis System. Keep an eye out for that uh, coming up on Friday. All right. So that's your first look. Reusable. Yes, they are. Uh, Wask, and they are absolutely reusable. That is probably one of the best parts. Uh, Ray Coleman out there says, sweet. He's digging on it. Uh, it looks good. It does, doesn't it, Lewis? Yes, it does. So um, do you get what you need to do it yourself, paper for whatever you need, or is it only what's pre-made? So Travis, you do receive the pre-made set of these uh, that are all hand done by Adam Wilbur. And he does say that this is gonna be a limited run. You'll find out more about that on Friday because these are not the easiest things to make, but he does include uh, everything here for you. So there you go. And Dwayne says, yep, very creative stuff. Yes, it is, Mr. Winstead, yes it is. Um, interesting, Ellis is over like, very interesting. Yeah. So there you go. Your first preview for tonight. There it is. Again, that is for Friday. Friday's preview. You saw it here first. Uh, there is another thing coming up on Monday. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys your preview for Monday's release as well. Um, this one is an interesting mind game. This is something that people will do and it will confuse them. It will make them question what's going on. And I think you guys are going to like this. We have a lot of mentalists. We have a lot of people out there that like to do these 
different demonstrations, these different feats, you know, where you can take away people's strength or you can give it to them. This is pretty rad. This is called the Baffling Blocks. Again, this is on, this is coming up on not Friday, but Monday, a, little, a few more days to go. Uh, but this is your first look right now. So check this out. I'll add some more names to the wheel while we're doing that. If you're not on the wheel tonight, uh, let me know. And we're going to spin our first giveaway when we come back too. So don't you guys go anywhere. We'll be right back. Oh yeah. Hi, I'm Ashton Carter. Welcome to the Baffling Blocks. Are you ready to experience the impossible? Oh, I love it. <laughs> Three simple boxes, two simple instructions, and a whole host of possibilities. Lift the three blocks, then just the top one, and the top one feels heavier than all three. Possible. <laughs> Absolutely. You'll receive a set of baffling blocks produced by Alan Wong and a copy of my Magician's Guide to the Baffling Blocks, which contains 10 routines for 10 different magical settings you can find yourself in and limitless possibilities. <laughs> You'll get fantastic reactions from your audiences and they will ask you to demonstrate this again and again. <laughs> it's simple to learn, easy to perform, you'll be up and running within five minutes. <laughs> Bring the impossible direct to your audience's hands. Bring the impossible to your audience's hands. Baffling Blocks coming out next Monday. That looks like that is the 23rd of August. Where is this year going? It's just flying on by. Uh, again, this is not just like a quick little visual trick you're gonna do. This is something you definitely need like a very different type of environment to perform it in. Um, but if you're a mentalist, if you love messing people's minds and stuff like that, this definitely has a place for you uh, and very easy to do. Obviously everything you see here uh, is included. And you do get that bonus booklet of ideas and things that you can do with this which make that even better. So it's not just a one trick pony here. You get a lot of different ideas you can do with this. A couple questions I know coming in already, the price, 45 bucks. That is what these will cost you, $45. And again, uh, those are dropping on uh, Monday. So there you go. Um, yeah, there's some nice quotes on here for it. And yeah, there's a, there's history on the effect. There's a, all sorts of fun things you can do about it. And also he teaches how he uses this kind of in a bar setting to get free drinks. Uh, which is always fun, right? A little bar bet you, so you can do that with these two. So there you go. That is the Baffling Blocks coming out on Monday. All right. All right. So yeah, Paige is like, yeah, that looks interesting. I likes it. Yes, Paige. I, I get it, right? It's cool. It's different. I think that is why I like it. Uh, and Mr. J is like, yep, I like to mess people's minds, Mr. CJ. Uh, free drinks are better than not free drinks. Touche, sir. Uh, very true. Very true. There you go. Uh, that's heavy, but light on the wallet. Ah, I <laughs> see what you did there. That was great. Now let's go on Defying Gravity. Yes, you are. Defying Gravity with the baffling box. That's right. So there we go. All right. Uh, yeah, everyone loves free drinks, right, David? All right. And Magic Alien's like, whoa, cool. Very powerful. He gets it. He gets it. You know what else I get? <laughs> Oh yeah, it is that time. We are gonna do our first live spin tonight. That means if you're new here, our first live winner. That's right, my friends, every single Tuesday night, not only do we show you brand new magic tricks like we've done already, but we also give you a chance to win some free stuff just for being here. Uh, so it does pay to be here every Tuesday. So we have a lot of our uh, usual faces out here, a lot of the familiar faces, but we also see some new people every week. Uh, and it's always great to meet some of the new people. So. I'm gonna go ahead and spin it for the first time right now. If you're just getting here, you should have been here earlier. I'll continue to add some names though. We're gonna keep moving along tonight. So here's our first spin, our live spin for everyone that's been here so far. I'll add more names right after this though. Hey. 
Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Bruno. Thank you, Bruno. Here we go. First winner. 75 on the wheel already. If you get to 200, as always, a bonus prize. Let us see. Let us see. Our winner is... Dun, 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 dun. Mane de Mago, one of our regular viewers. He is a lucky, lucky guy. He has just won uh, his choice of any one of our vault downloads. So congratulations going out to Manny. This dude has luck just running through his body. He has uh, been a winner, I think, a couple weeks ago or so. He's, he's killing it out there. So congratulations, congratulations. to Mane de Mago, uh, one of our regular viewers. Congrats, my friend, on oh, picking up some free stuff. Again, your choice of any one of our vault downloads that's right any one of those so uh manny you know the drill by now drop me an email right there luke at murphy's magic.com to claim your prize all right all right uh yeah i mean you guys are right yeah many go through some super luck congrats you won two weeks in a row yeah that's right you just never know if, you, if you're here you do have a chance to win it is 100 random my friends so yeah 100 random i would not cheat you guys you know that you know that uh and also i'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle the list as well. I'm gonna do that right now. You just shuffle the list, and now I'm gonna to start to add more people uh, once I show you this next video, okay? So don't go anywhere. If you're just getting here, I will add your name here in just a sec because uh, right now I'm gonna show you something that goes along with one of the new releases that just came out. I'm talking about Visible uh, from Craig Petty. Uh, Craig Petty just put this out with the 1914, not too long ago here. And I thought I would give you guys a full performance of one of the tricks from this project. So uh, this basically is all about the Invisible deck, but it's using it in brand new ways, brand new ways. And I have an interview with him popping up very soon, so keep an eye out for that to give you more details. But right now, you are gonna have your look at the full performance of one of the tricks from this project. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna add all you new people that just got here to the wheel. So if you're not on there yet, you just got here, say hello. And let me know to add you to the wheel, but this is your full performance look from the Visible Project. This is just one trick, don't you forget, it's just one of many. All right. Okay, so Kira, um, I have two packs of cards here. And these two packs of cards, they have a symbiotic relationship with each other which nobody ever believes when I say, <laughs> nobody ever believes. Don't feel bad that internally you're thinking that I'm talking rubbish. You're just the same as everyone else, but I'm gonna prove that to you. Um, we have a, a blue deck and a red deck. And whatever happens to one deck, happens to the other deck. Which sounds insane, but I'm gonna prove it. Now, um, I have the, uh, the blue deck of cards here. I just wanna show you, uh, and I'll, um, I'll, sp I'll spread them out so you can see them. I just want you to see that they're all there and they're all different, is that fair? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, 52 cards. Now, I'm going to put the cards inside the case, and I'm going to put those right there in front of you, Aiden. Mm -hmm. Make sure I don't get to them until later on. Yes, sir. Um, that's what's going to happen to that deck in a minute is incredible. Okay? Now, Pauline, uh, I have another pack of cards here. I have a red deck, right. 52 cards. I'm going to uh, give them a shuffle, but let me ask you a question, Pauline. Are you a, uh, do you play cards? Well, poker, maybe. Sometimes. Oh, wow. Well, no, That's very no, impressive. No, I don't... Just Christmas time and things like that. <laughs> okay, okay. Just for the special occasions. Yeah, Fair yeah, enough. Yeah, um, yeah. Pauline, would you like to give these cards a shuffle, or do you trust me? No, you don't. Oh. That's fine. No, no, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Nobody ever trusts me. <laughs> give them a shuffle. It's fine. Mix them up as much as you want to. Um, but can you do me a favour, Pauline, just for the trick to work? When you finish shuffling them, can you put them back in the original order, please? <laughs> <laughs> Are we good? Yes. That's very good. And that was great technique. I can, maybe it's more than just Christmas. I don't know. That was, that was very good. Um, so we're going to have four cards picked. Five cards. Let's go crazy. Let's do five. And you're going to help me with this. Okay. So from the, from the deck that Pauline shuffled, we're going to have five cards picked from five different parts of the deck. So I'm going to spread through the cards. You're going to touch a card. I'm going to push it forward. You're going to then touch another one. And we're going to end up with five cards touched and pushed forward before I get to the end of the deck. Okay. Okay, so uh, touch a card. You might want to have one near the top to begin with. Oh, that one there. Yeah. Okay, uh, and another one. That one. That's great. And a third one. That one. That's great. And the fourth one. That one. And finally, a fifth one. That one. Excellent. Now, 
I'm all about giving people free choices, Kira. Are you happy with those five cards, or would you like to change them for any other pack, or are you happy with I'm it? I'm happy with it. Good. If you're happy, I'm happy. So, five cards. Now, no one could know what those cards are, right, Aidan? Because Pauline shuffled them, and then you took five cards. So unless you have x-ray vision, no one could know what those cards are. We're going to create a random order. And how we're going to do this, Kira, is I, I, I'm going to deal the cards on the table. And I'm going to ask you to say deal or split. If you say deal, I'll deal the card onto the table. If you say split, I'll change the positions of the top two cards and then just drop them on the table. So let's try this. Deal or split? Deal. And again? Split. Perfect. And again? Split. Excellent stuff. And we'll do this again with you if that's okay. okay. Um, so deal or split? Split. Excellent. And again? Deal. Split. Excellent. And one last time, just because I don't want you to feel left out, Aiden. <laughs> Deal or split? Deal. Excellent. Deal. Split. Deal. Interesting. Every single one of you did something completely different, but that's absolutely fine. Now, no one could know what the cards are, but also no one could know the order. It's a completely random order. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Cool. Let's just deal them out. There we go. The Ace of Clubs, Four of Hearts, Seven of Spades, Ten of Diamonds, King of Clubs. Yeah? No one could have known that beforehand. But do you remember I said at the beginning that these packs of cards have a symbiotic relationship? And I showed you that deck of cards in there, and we checked them, and they're all there, and they're all different, and so on and so forth. And I've asked you to keep an eye on them, mate. I haven't gone anywhere near them. I'm now going to touch them for the first time. Because I said whatever happens to this deck happens to this deck. And that is absolutely the case. Let me show you what I mean. If I take these cards out, and remember, you shuffled, you took any five cards, you all mixed up the order, and we ended up in this order, and now when we spread out this deck, five cards are turned over, ace of clubs, four of hearts, seven of spades, oh, oh ten of God. diamonds, oh, that's good. and the king of clubs. That's brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, there is a full performance from The Visible Project. Uh, again, that is Craig Petty's brand new release, all about the invisible deck, but using it in brand spanking new ways. Uh, and he also gives you some great ideas to use with the traditional handling for the invisible deck, uh, and also the care of the deck, how to make it last, and if it wears out, how to get it fixed. So a great project full of information for you guys from Craig Petty. All right, all right, and that is available right now from your favorite magic shops. Pick it up today, pick it up today, all right. Uh, we're gonna move right along. A little bit of magic news coming out of Las Vegas, coming your way. Uh, Banachek's brand new show opened a couple weeks ago, and I finally found my way over this, uh, over to this, over to see this, uh, a few days ago. And here comes your magic news from Las Vegas right about now. There's the ad for the Banachek show called Mind Games Live. He is over at the Stratosphere Hotel, also known now as The Strat. They've just kind of shortened it down to The Strat. And I thought I'd give you guys a couple little looks here of the show. A little, uh, little peek inside the theater here. You can see the nice giant LED screens on either side of the stage. Banachek in the middle performing some of his incredible mentalism there on stage. Uh, look at the theater there too. The lighting. I really like the lighting of that. Beautiful setup going on over there. Uh, also, you have another shot here. Uh, another part of the show of him with some people up on stage performing some of his stuff there. And I have one more shot to show you guys of him with the audience. And again, love the lighting, like the look of this. It was a packed house, a lot of people in there, and Banachek is kicking some ass on the Las Vegas stage. So if you guys are coming out to Las Vegas, keep an eye out for this. You'll see this everywhere. It's on billboards and on taxis now. It is everywhere. And he is again uh, over at the Strat, over at the Strat, the, the big toll you know, tower looking thing in Vegas that people jump off of. I would never do that. Would you guys jump off that? There is a thing that you can do. You literally get hooked up. They, 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 they hook you up on the little thing. You go out to the, the, the little ledge, and then you just freaking jump. And the line is what's kind of holding you. And what's crazy is if you're eating in the restaurant at the top of the Strat, the, you can see the people whizzing by the window. It is just stupid. I would, I would not do that. Uh, David is with me. He's like, yeah. Uh, David's like, yeah, no way. Uh, there's David's comment, no way. Justin's like, he's with me. He's like, no, 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 no. I ain't jumping out none. Uh, Fred says he actually did it. Let me come back here. Uh, John says when, yep. Yeah. Uh, but Fred says 
Uh, it's awesome, and he did it years ago. Fred, more power to you, my friend. More power to you. Um, Kennington's like, yeah, I'm afraid of heights. I jump. <laughs> you are, if you're afraid of heights, don't you normally not jump? I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, have you jumped from? Hell no. And I'm not doing it. No, no, no. Um, uh, not even, not even considering it. Uh, that's crazy. Although I'd love to try it out for people in the restaurant. It's just funny to see people just randomly flying by the side of a window. Dwayne's with me. He'd rather keep his feet on the ground. Yeah, I would. I would not do it. Um, uh, Fred said he also skydived around the same time and it scared to jump off the strat and out of a plane. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, okay. Uh, come on, YOLO. Exactly, Manny. That's why I would not do it because you only live once. You only get one shot. <laughs> I'm not about to throw it away. Jumping off the strat in Las Vegas. I'm, I'm good. I, I'm good. Uh, John said that his insurance agent would hate him if, if he did that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, it's definitely a mixed bag here. I think there's a lot more people like me that are saying no. So if you are interested in doing that, come do it during a Magic Live. John Carter says he'll do it during Magic Live. All right, bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> All right, so there's your Magic News coming out of Las Vegas. There's always fun stuff to tell you guys about, of course. Um, but in the meantime, we are back on the wheel. And as always, if you are watching this on YouTube later, Make sure you use the playlist below the video to skip around to the next section, okay? Because we're going to take a couple of minutes here to add a few more people to the wheel and also spin it to see who our next winner is tonight. Our next live winner is tonight. I got to get James Forsyth on there. And as always, if I misspell your name, don't hold it against me. I am a one-man show. I always do the best I can, uh, but I know that I'm going to mess up sometime. And don't 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 blame me on it. All right. So uh, let me check Jen. She's saying Jen, the magician, is not on there. Jen, you are now. I got you on there, Jen the Magician. Welcome, welcome. Matthew Henley, you are also added to the wheel now, officially. All right. Uh, I think I got Byron on there, don't I? Nope, I don't have Byron on there. Let's get you on there, Mr. Byron. Thank you for being here. There we go. All right. Isaac, let's get you on here. Let me find your name. It's skipping on by me there. There we go. All right. So this is what we do every week, my friends. If you're just joining me for the first time, hope it's not the last time. And to make sure it's not, Go ahead and click on those notifications on the bell on YouTube. And there's a bell on Facebook now too. So go ahead and do that so that you don't miss out the next time we go live and hook you guys up with some stuff. We're already up to 106 entries. Uh, if we do get up to 200 again, I'm going to throw in a bonus prize tonight. So it's up to you fine and beautiful people to help us go over 200 again. And I know we could do it because we did it last week. The bonus prize last week, do you know what it was? It was a free copy of Insider, the brand new amazing uh, release from Mark Oberon that uh, is pretty freaking sick. Everyone's wanted one, and I gave one away last week. Uh, so, yeah, it was pretty rad, only because you guys got over 200 people on the wheel. So, yeah, we are pushing 110 in just a second here because i got to get one, just one truth on there. All right, let's go ahead and spin it right now. Uh, Ricardo, let me get you on there too, my friend. I don't want to leave anybody out. Ricardo Tavera. Good to see you as always. Thanks for joining us. All right, and Cliff Horn. Let's get Cliff on there. Let's spin it. This is for your choice of any one of our at the table lectures. And thanks for being here, my friends. As always, exciting to see you guys out there. I see so many great friends and new faces. Who's gonna be the person that's about to win some of this stuff? And thank you, Sammy, for the love. If you haven't followed Sammy, do it to it. Do it to it. Oh, here we go. Who's it going to be? Our second live winner tonight is coming in, Doug Menges. Doug Menges. Let me just jot his name down. I always like to keep a list here of who those winners are. Doug Menges. And it's great because he's a new friend. I'm not, I'm not sure where Doug is from. Doug, if you're still live with us, let us know where you're watching from tonight. And this goes out to you. Congratulations! Yeah. All right, congrats. It's always nice to see new people out there winning stuff. And Doug, because you are new around here, and thank you, John Bing, for the love. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, make sure to drop me that email to claim your free download. This is a download from any one of our at the table lectures right there, Luke at Murphy'sMagic.com. Okay, and a big congrats again going out to Doug Mingus. All right, and thank you, Bun Lay. Thank you. Good to see you, Bun. Good to see you out there. 
as always. All right. And we got to give you one of these. People are reminding me, like, Luke, don't forget. Luke, don't don't forget about the uh, the, the chicken dinner. You got it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Thank you, Alex, <laughs> for the reminder. I almost missed it. I'm not going to lie. I almost missed it. Uh, more live giveaways coming up. So if you're just getting here, get comfy, get relaxed. We've got a lot more to show you and give you. Yes, a lot more fun stuff tonight. All right. So uh, speaking of that, I'm going to go ahead and jump into my next thing. This is something that is new, uh, that is based off of something that is old. Something that is old, which is always fun. Uh, this is new. So you might not have seen this yet because I know there's a lot of new stuff coming out. Uh, this is called the American Prayer Vase Genie Bottle. I call these the Buddhas. What are they? Well, I'm sure in a lot of your magic kits many moons ago, you probably got the little plastic vase with the little piece of rope and you put the rope inside and you let go and it stays suspended, right? The little vase, you know, everything stays suspended. And you can do it upside down where you take the vase and the rope stays inside. This is a brand new, beautiful version of that. And this is why I'm excited to show it to you. This is one of the versions called the Buddha. There's a few different ones you're gonna see here. Uh, these look absolutely amazing. And these are all the different versions here. Uh, you can see them uh, kind of labeled out there. Uh, and here's a closer look as well. There's the Buddha, the Black Mamba. Yeah, a little Kobe, little Kobe throwback there. A little Black Mamba, Rainbow Pastel, Rainbow Pastel, and Orange, and the Rainbow Prism. So these are the different ones that are out there, and they're only 25 bucks. And not only do they look good, but they can feel good as well. They're not just, you know, regular plastic. These are actually really, really nice. So uh, these are available right now from your favorite magic shop. Uh, those are so cool. I know, Daniel, aren't they? They really are, man. For something so old, you know, the, the genie bottle, like Kennington says, yeah, he, they remember those. Yeah, they definitely remember those. Um, beautiful. And Daniel's going for the Black Mamba all day. That is a nice one, right? I like the Black Mamba. And I do like the Buddha. I like the Buddha one too. Uh, yep, they look awesome. Very neat colors. I know, right? And if you stick around in just a minute, I'm going to tell you guys this now. I'm giving one of these away. Uh, this is going to be our next giveaway coming up here on our prize wheel. So if you want to have a chance to win one of these, your choice of any one, any one that you see here, don't go anywhere. I'm going to give one away here in about two or three minutes. Okay. So uh, if you're not on the wheel yet, uh, make sure that you get on there because I'm going to show you a video of this right now. And while I'm doing that, I am going to add a couple more names to the wheel. So if you're not on there, let me know. Um, but right now, here is a little mini clip. Not much to show you, but just something to give you time to add more names. Uh, here are the American Prayer Vase Genie Bottles right here.
And there you go, guys and gals. That is your look at the American Prayer Vase Genie Bottles. Again, these are available in a variety of colors. And the best part is, one more time, you get to choose the one that you want right now because we're going to give one away. It'll be your choice. That's right. We are going to do it. I, uh, I got the go-ahead to do that. So you get your choice. Uh, we are up to 126 people already, which is great. Uh, we are moving right along tonight. Uh, let me get Pat on the wheel as well. I know I don't have you on there, Mr. Pat Fat Tricks. Good to see you out there, Pat. All right, let me get that. There we go. Pat, nice to see you out there. Uh, Ming, Ton, and John Hayes, I do have you on the wheel. I've seen you uh, mention that a couple times. I do have you on there, I promise. I promise. Uh, James Cortez, I got you on there, my friend. All right. Okay, so I think I've got pretty much everybody on here. There is uh, Chris Oberly out there as well. Let me get him added to the wheel. Mr. Obes, good to see you out there. All right, and Steve Langston. I don't think I have you. So I'm going to do what I always do, which is in Splash 23, I believe I do have you. I got you right there. You are good to go. All right, so uh, 131. Again, if we get 200, we are going to also throw in a bonus prize tonight. So let me add one more name. I see Alex A on there as well. All right, so let's go ahead and do this right now. Let's see who's going to pick up a free one of those American Prayer Bases. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. Who's it gonna be? Slowing on down, slowing on down, fam. Who is it gonna be? Who is it gonna be? We're getting close. Is it gonna be Bert? Oh, we got Audrey. Bert! Audrey, it's gonna stick on Audrey out there. Congrats. Congratulations! Audrey, I believe that might be David's wife or someone that's related to David because they've got the same last name. Maybe. We'll see. So, Audrey, congratulations to you on being our winner for the American Prayer Base. And again, you get your choice of any one of those. There's five different colors. We'll take care of that via email. And speaking of that, uh, Miss Audrey, you need to email me, please, luke at murphysmagic.com. Uh, to claim your prize. All right? All right. So there you go. And Audrey, is always, with every winner out there, you get one of these. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> All right. And one more time, this is what she just won, the American Prayer Vase Genie Bottles, her choice of any one of those colors out there. So congrats. And let me make a note real quick of your name so that I can make sure that I get you that. All right. So let me just put that... And there we go. All right, congrats. And more giveaways coming up, so don't you guys and gals go anywhere. There are more free things to give you. Yes, that's right. We're not done with that. Uh, and some other surprises. And again, if we do get up to 200 on the wheel tonight, 200 entries, throwing in some bonus stuff. So if you're not on the wheel, please let me know. I'm doing my best to keep up. Uh, so, yeah. All right. And I'll make sure to shuffle it next time, too. Okay? Okay. Uh, let's take a step back. Sometimes I like to show you a lot of new stuff, as always, which is fun. Uh, but I also like to do the throwbacks, little throwback action every now and then to remind you of some of the things that have come out before that were bangers, that were hot, that were great, and now they're not new anymore, so people forget about them, right? Happens all the time. This time I'm talking about any card from Richard Sanders. This is a kick-ass revelation with a thought of card. Thought of card revelation in a fresh new way. If you haven't seen this, I'm going to run the trailer for this right now. Check this out. Anytime Richard Sanders puts his name on something, you know what's good, and this is no exception. So, a little throwback action. Let's go back in time and check out any card from Richard Sanders. If you are not on the wheel, tell me in the comments now to add you. I'll get you on there, and maybe you'll be our next winner. We'll have to wait and find out. Be right back. Imagine this. You walk up to someone, hand them a deck of cards, have them think of any playing card. You then tell them you made a prediction inside the deck they're holding. In fact, you turned over the four aces because you're pretty sure they're thinking of an ace. They say no, they're thinking of the four of clubs. At this point, they think you've blown the effect until they turn over those four aces, revealing the name of their thought of card. <laughs> No, 
This is a killer effect. You can work this with any card named. This is a prediction system built right into a deck of cards. It's easy to do, it's powerful. There are multiple presentations that are included on this project. This is a worker. This is any card. <laughs> All right, so that is any card. I know it's not brand spanking new, but it is a throwback, and throwbacks can also be kick-ass as well. Uh, so this one is 40 bucks from your favorite magic shop, and you saw exactly what this is and uh, what you could do with it and the type of reactions that you're gonna get. And the cool thing is it is pretty much self-working. The deck does the work for you, and yes, everything you need is included, so that's always a bonus as well. So Richard Sanders kicking some more boote with any card. Check it out right now from your favorite magic shop. All right, all right, cool. Uh, what level is that? Very, very easy. Uh, the difficulty level on the webpage actually says that it's a beginner level. So very, very easy to do any card. Uh, but the, uh, the effect, the impact it has far exceeds a beginner level trick. I can tell you that much as you saw from the, uh, the trailer there. Um, but uh, Kevin out there says, gonna buy this tonight, thanks for reminding me. That's what I try to do, my friends. I really do. Like, I don't want you just to get too lost and wrapped up in all the brand new stuff because there is so much kick-ass stuff that came out that people just forget about because it's not new. So I'm doing my best to keep some of those things alive for you out there. Uh, and Derek wants to know, I guess it's not examinable. It's not. But the good thing is the cards that they're holding are because it does happen in their hands at the end, right? So there you go. A little give and take. At least it happens in their hands, right? There you go. Uh, and David Brock, I agree. He says, I love plots for the spectators think you messed up and then you, you get them good. You get them good. Yeah, that one is, that one is great. Uh, Jason, yes, I wish he released more, don't you? Like the guy's such a great creator of magic and uh, a really cool guy too. One of my favorite people in the magic industry. So, yeah. All right. So that is, uh, yeah, a great trick. I'll have to pull that back out. Yes, let me know how it goes, Michael. And Michael, I do have you added to the prize pool. I saw you out there as well. And it's good to see you, Mr. Michael. Good to see you. Another Michael out there, Mr. Michael Mayo, one of my favorite people in the magic world. He drinks shots. He takes shots from Capintro glasses and he's just an all around badass. So yeah, big fan of Mr. Michael Mayo. Great, great mind, great collector of magic. Just a great guy. Big fan of Michael Mayo. All right. Uh, something else I'm a big fan of is something that just came uh, back in stock that uh, a lot of people have used. So this one's not brand new either. It's back in stock, but this is great. It made my list last year for one of my top five virtual magic tricks because it really does work great on camera or in real life. And oh yeah, it's back in stock, which is great. Uh, this one has been back in stock a few different times over the years because it's so popular and it's so good. And basically it's a observation test with a kick ass kicker after kicker after kicker. So I've got the video keyed up of this. If you guys haven't seen it, you're gonna love it. I can see some people out there saying, yeah, it's killer. Uh, but then there's Ryan who says he hasn't heard of it. So that's what's great about this. We can kind of like all catch up on stuff. Uh, Frankie Valle out there says it's amazing effect. He loves it so much. Ray is also a huge fan of this one too. And Gavin says it's one of his top packet tricks. So yes, you guys are gonna see why these friends out there love it. Uh, so check this out right now. This is the Poker Test 2.0 from Eric Casey. We'll be back in just a sec, and we're gonna spin the wheel after this to give you guys another chance to win some stuff. Will it be you? Will it maybe be you? Well, you're gonna have to wait and find out. I'll be right back. So I have an observation test for you. You have five seconds to view the cards, and only five seconds. One, two, three, four, and five. So now the test begins. How many cards does I have in my hand? Most people say five. Five is correct. Now the next part is, what was the bottom card? A lot of people say blank, but it was actually the ace of diamonds. The questions get harder from here on out. What color was the back? 
See, it wasn't blue, it was actually red. I had an ace over the other four cards. It was a royal flush. I'm Merrick Casey, and that's the Poker Test 2.0. Now you know why they don't let me in Las Vegas. Okay, this part of Las Vegas. That part over there, that's the part they don't love. But that's it. Royal Flush, gotta go. All right, there you go, my friends. That is Poker Test 2.0. I know the audio in the beginning was a little light. Sorry about that. Um, but this has been out for a while, so the quality of camera gear and audio equipment has definitely gotten better uh, as time has gone on. But the one thing that you should know, and you do know by now, oh, yeah! this is back in stock, and it is available right now from your favorite magic shop. Uh, it really is a steal at 25 bucks, uh, and it does come with everything that you need to start performing this uh, right away. And as a reminder, it does work great for virtual shows or live performances. So if you are getting back into having to do, um, you know, live performances again, uh, kind of slowing down, having to get back in the virtual shows, this will play great for that, for a whole group of people, just a packet of cards. So there you go, Poker Test 2.0. All right? All right. Uh, let me see. Uh, see, uh, Magic Alon says, "Yeah, definitely check it out. You'll love it." Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, you got to check it out, Manny. It's it's a great one. It is a great one, my friend. Yeah. Uh, yep, and it is great in real life too. There you go. All right. Uh, so good with misdirection. That yeah, and then Gregory Wilson, great. Just just great on those performances uh, with people out there. So yeah, big fan of what he does as well. All right, I think I hear it. Do you guys hear it? I think I, I, think I hear it. Well, no. Don't you start spinning yet. No. No. Stop by telling you. I'm going to let that play out. I'm going to let that play out. I wasn't ready yet, so i got to add a couple more names yet. So we'll have to wait just a second for that to slow down. Uh, let's see here. Any other names I haven't added yet? Yeah, you hear that? Yeah, I know. It got ahead of me, right? <laughs> it got ahead of me. So sorry, Lisa, that wasn't supposed to count yet. Uh, but you've won some stuff before, so it's, it's okay. <laughs> I, at least that's what I'll tell myself. All right, so here we are, back to the wheel. My bad. Uh, if you're not on here yet, please let me know. Uh, I'm going to start adding a couple more names. And if you aren't watching this later, skip ahead uh, to the next section so that you don't have to sit here and watch me uh, type in more names, okay? Because I am a one-man show doing the best I can every week right here for my friends out there. Uh, we are up to 148 entries, by the way, as you see at the top there above the, the name list, 148. If we do get up to 200, um, we are definitely going to throw in a bonus prize tonight, valued at about $60. So if you guys want to have a chance to win something as a bonus prize, let me know. Let me know. And uh, spread the word. Spread the word out there. Okay. All right. Uh, let me check real quick. Anyone else out there that I haven't added? I got Bun. I got Jason. I don't think I added Jason out there. Jason. There we go, Jason. And Bill. We got to get Bill on the wheel. Thank you, Bill, for hanging out with us tonight. Looks like a new name out there, a new face. Uh, we got the, the Fancy Stash. I like that. What's up, Fancy? Fancy Stash out there. How we doing? Thanks for joining us. All right, cool. And another name here, uh, F-R-I-C... K, F R I C K R Y, A S R. Wow, this is tricky. Ben, Jacob, I can get that. All right, there we go. All right. So, uh, anyone else out there not on the wheel? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spin this in just a second. Near Shani, good to see you again. One of our winners from the past. I recognize the name. Bill Reader out there. Good to see you, Bill. It's been a hot minute. Hope you're doing okay. All right. Uh, John Henderson. Let's get John Henderson on the wheel tonight as well. John Henderson. There we go. Uh, Gary, we got Gary out there. Tentari, there we got Gary out there. Sean Tyler, good to see you, Sean. 
And I do have you, Bunlay. I do have you, sir. I got you. Okay, if people are saying, let's spin it, let's spin it. Let me get Michael Lawrence, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and, and we'll do it, okay? Michael Lawrence. There we go, here we go, my friends. This one is for a secret prize. Here we go. Here we go. And don't forget, we do these live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time. It's a whole lot of fun. The only thing that makes it better is you and you and you and you. All you people out there. There we go. Our next winner is... Dun, 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 dun. Jen the Magician. Jen the Magician. Congratulations! Congratulations going out there to Jen the Magician. Uh, she is a great friend of the show out there. I believe she's on the other side of the world and the UK. So she's staying up late with us tonight. So thank you, Jen, for being part of what we do, as always. And obviously, make sure you drop me an email, luke at murphysmagic.com, to claim your prize, which is your choice of any one of our vault downloads. There are card tricks, coin tricks, mentalism, virtual tricks. There is everything. Anything from $10 up to like 50 to 100 a lot, a lot of stuff. Hundreds of these to choose from. So you take your time. Let me know. Luke at murphysmagic.com is the email for you to get in touch with me. Let me just take a quick note of her name there. Uh, we'll do your choice. There we go. Jen the Magician. Sweet. And thank you for the love out there. Thank you for the love. And if you haven't done that as well, well don't, don't, forget to, uh, don't forget to do that. If you haven't done it yet, it does help. We give you guys so much. I try my best to do this for you guys every week give you the most the best that I can do so if you haven't done that it does help us out do it to it appreciate it much love to all you guys all right so we are going to be uh hooking up more magic I've got some surprises coming after this uh some other stuff to give you so don't don't go anywhere because we're just we're just getting warmed up it is almost six o'clock my time so I'm going to speed through a couple things real quick and thank you Steve for the love I appreciate you my friend thank you sir for the love all right uh, something else that is back in stock is a beautiful piece of magic called Switch Cup. Switch Cup is crazy cool. I love uh, sushi, and this definitely has a situation specific to it because you are using a uh, cup, like a little mini bowl there, a little glass, is a switching device. Uh, the visuals are insane. I'm going to show them to you in just a second. Uh, but the good thing about this one is it is oh, yeah! back in stock. Uh, this one, when it was released, zipped on out of here, and rightfully so. When you see the video here, you're going to understand why it became uh, so popular. So I'm going to show you this right now, uh, the Switch Cup. And we're going to spin the wheel here in a couple more minutes. And uh, if you're not on the wheel, please let me know in the comments. I will be adding more names as you guys watch this right about now. Enjoy Switch Cup. And there it is, the Switch Cup. Uh, again, that is... Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Back in stock right now, available from your favorite magic shops, wherever they are out there in the world. Pick it up today for $45. Uh, you do receive the gimmick, and uh, you can perform this, obviously, with bills, as you see here, uh, or with cards. And you saw most of that in the trailer, so I'm just telling you what you already know. Uh, but there you go. Uh, this is very, very cool stuff. And there are eight routines included. I wanted to check that out for you guys. 
Uh, and it does say it needs to be like a flat object, but I think you probably knew that already as well. And a quick reset, a very quick reset. I can see this working great for uh, restaurant settings or if you just theme it right. Um, but yeah, the invisible part of it is what makes me like it a lot. Yeah, really fast and invisible, right? That's pretty rad, yeah. Uh, Manny's digging on it, says it's very slick. Bill Reader's like, badass, badass. I agree, my friend. Uh, Joel says, looks amazing and clean working. Yes and yes, for sure. Franklin Monk says, that's too cool. Too cool for school, yes. Uh, fancy stash out there. It's one of the best of these things. This is one of the best of these things. Too bad it's such a specific prop with limited environmental justifications. I understand that too. Totally get it. Uh, but in the right spot, it's a win for sure. So check it out today uh, from your favorite magic shop. And as always, I'd like to ask you guys, wherever you are out in the world, uh, do you guys shop online or do you shop brick and mortar? Do you actually go into a magic shop to get your stuff or do you do all your shopping online? I'd love to hear from you guys about that because I know times are changing as each year goes on. And yes, Mike Mayo, great for bill of work. True that, true that. Yes, for sure. All right, so that is the Switch Cup uh, available today from magic shops worldwide. All right, all right. Let's see, Michael Jansen shops online. He's an online shopper. That's a lot of people these days, isn't it? Yeah, Epic Arts is the same thing. Uh, Daniel Geddes online. Uh, Ray Coleman says online. Tony D online. Wow, it's all online these days. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised. Robert says online. The Magical Bots so far have gotten online. Yeah, uh, Ryan, he'd prefer brick and mortar, but sadly there aren't any ones. Yeah, that seems to be a problem, right? John says he likes to support him when he can, and I think that's a great thing to say. I'm with you, John. Yeah. Uh, Manny does do both, online and brick and mortar. Very nice, Manny. Very nice. Sean is doing in-store shopping. That's great, man. That's that's cool. Try to do it when you can, yeah. Um, if I had to shop, if I had a shop to go to, I'd be there all the time. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, Bunley says uh, online. Um, yeah, can't beat in-store. I know, Joel. Uh, there's nothing like it. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing like it. Um, Kimberly says that uh, she and Travis are about an hour and a half from a store, but they try to go there as often as they can. Yeah, uh, I wish we had more of those out there for people to enjoy. You know, uh, more choices online. They're in actual stores, and we can research on the products. That's true. You could definitely learn more about stuff uh, before buying it, Tony. That's true. Um, Jason says uh, online these days, no brick and mortar shops near me anymore worked at one as a teen and had david williamson come in that's cool what a great story man but that was fun did he have you demo something for him <laughs> that'd be pretty cool uh derek bumpus says have to drive to austin for in store okay okay uh michael says staples is his magic shop well you know you gotta get your supplies somewhere <laughs> um michael sometimes goes to tannins but mostly online yeah tannin shop is fun to go to in new york yeah um Chris James says, mainly Walmart. Yeah, well, you can get more supplies there. There you go. Walmart's always a place full of stuff as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let me see what else I got to show you guys. And we'll keep the convo going along the way. Let me know what you guys prefer. Uh, it sounds like it's kind of a mixed bag uh, between between those two. So uh, this is another piece of magic that's, that's, that's really, really fun. This one is called The Only One. And think of, because, you know, we're talking about Invisible Deck a lot uh, because of Craig Petty's new release, Visible. This is a version of that, but done in a totally different way with a thought of card that's the only card in the deck. And it is... Oh, yeah! Back in stock. It is back in stock, available right now from Magic Shops. A quick heads up, it does come in red or blue. It doesn't come with both, so make sure you choose the one that you want. The reason I'm excited to show you this, the handling is super direct and super clean. And there really is a 100% free choice. And this does work pretty much the same way that a classic invisible deck does, but the effect is so different. You're gonna see it right now. Uh, again, this is called The Only One from Martin Brasius. And here you go, here's your look. Let me know if you're not on the wheel, I'm gonna add you and we're gonna spin it right after this.
Find different implementations and presentations for close-up or parlor. Bonus effect. Turn the whole deck into blank cards, except for the chosen card. Reset in less than three seconds. Ideal for walking around or on stage. 360 degree angle. All right, and there it is, the only one. Again, this does come in red uh, or blue, so make sure you choose the one that you want. Uh, the deck does all the work for you, and basically, uh, you just need to make sure you get the one that you want. And it is oh yeah, back in stock. It is back in stock uh, right now and available from your favorite magic shop. Uh, and it is a completely free choice, uh, just like it is with the invisible deck. So there you go. All right. Uh, all right, we got a friend watching us from Australia, our friend Matt Johnson, not the Matt Johnson that was just on America's Got Talent. This is our friend Matt Johnson from Australia. It's like the, uh, <laughs> it's like the uh, bizarro world, Matt Johnson. There's like one in this part of the world and one the underworld. Yeah, so there we go. I think it is now time, my friends, to bring you guys some free stuff. It is time to bring you guys some free stuff. So let me add a couple new names here. Matt Johnson is one of them I haven't added just yet. So let me go ahead and do that right about now. All right. And let me get a couple more names here. And just as a reminder, if you see on the screen, we are up to 171 right now. Uh, we're getting close to the end tonight. So I don't know if we're gonna hit 200, um, but if we do, I am gonna be throwing in a, a bonus prize tonight. So anyone else out there that is not on the wheel. And Adam Wilbur is in the house. And thank you, Mike Miller, for liking the stream. Let me make sure to get Mike on the uh, on the wheel there. Uh, we were showing off some Adam Wilbur goodness earlier. We showed a preview for Friday, uh, which if you guys don't know, I'm going to jump back to me real quick, um, is the Genesis system. This is coming up on Friday. So uh, the man of the hour is here, and it seems like he may be at Magi Fest. I think he will be. So if you guys are heading to Magi Fest, I think next month, uh, make sure to check out Adam Wilbur there. Uh, to see some of his stuff in person. I'm sure he'll be happy to dim some of that for you. This is coming up on Friday, though, the Genesis system. And thank you, Michael, for the love. Thank you for the love, Mr. Michael Jansen. Thank you so much, sir. All right. Uh, so we are going to jump back over to the wheel right now and give someone a chance to win some stuff. And Adam Wilbur, we love you, too. We love you, too, buddy. And thank you, Joel, for the love. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Doug. Congrats to Doug earlier. If you didn't know you were one of our winners earlier tonight, make sure you get in touch to claim your prize. Make sure you do that, all right? Uh, so this one, I am going to hook you up with something after the spin. I'll tell you what the prize is. Uh, and yes, Joseph, Grandfather's Top, it's a great one. One of the best levitations to come out in a long time. It makes a lot of sense. It is good. And Magic Ace, I think I got you on the wheel tonight, but let me just double check. Nope, I don't have Magic Ace. Let me get you on there, buddy. Magic Ace, there you go. All right, and I am going to... Shuffle at Alan here in just a sec. Uh, I need to get Mr. Tom on the wheel here first. Let me get Tom. There we go, Tom. All right. And Mr. Ease. Mysteries and magics. There we go. All right. Here we go. So I am going to shuffle, 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 as Juan Tamaris would say. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. There we go. Shuffle one more time. We're up to 176 people on the wheel. Who's going to be the lucky person to win the next prize? Let's find out. Actually, let me get you on here because John Luke's like, wait, Luke, wait a second. I am not on there. So let me get you, John Luke. There we go. I don't think I spelled that right. There we go. There we go. All right. Here we go. Let's spin it up right about now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who's gonna be the next one? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Getting close, slowing on down, slowing on down. What do we got here? We're coming up to Maxim. We've got Dill Wheeler. Maxim. Duroche. And I am sure that I am not pronouncing your name right, but I could do this right. <laughs> there we go. Congrats to you, my friend, on picking up something really cool. I'm going to show you here in just a second. Uh, 
it's always fun to show you guys uh, new stuff. And so I wanted to show you guys uh, something here that is a brand new uh, deck of cards that just came out. Uh, perfect for this season. We're still in summer. Uh, so I'm hooking someone up with a free deck of the 2021 Summer Collection, the Jungle Playing Cards. Well, look at those vibrant colors. They just pop right out. Um, look at the back. Here's a look at the tuck. Look at the beauty there. Look at the beauties. Got the Ace of Spades coming in with some more colors. Very tropical jungle theme going on here. We've got a closer look at the Ace of Spades in the back and the tuck there. And a look at the cards right there. So let me just make a note here for our friend there, Maxime. And, and if I didn't pronounce your name right, I do apologize. So you're very welcome, Maxime. And thanks for hanging out with us tonight. It's always good to see some new faces out there, and I believe you are one of them. Uh, so congrats on picking that up. And yeah, those are from Joseph. They are from Card Cuts. You are correct. Yes, they are. So there you go. And yeah, they are bright. <laughs> that's right, Kimberly. They are very bright. So yeah, that's why they're the summer collection. So there you go. You can grab these if you didn't win them uh, from your favorite magic shop uh, today. So there you go. And of course, our winner out there needs to drop me an email, Mr. Maxime, uh, Luke at Murphy'sMagic.com right there to claim that deck of cards. And of course, this goes out to you. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. Congratulations on uh, picking up a free deck of cards just for hanging out with us tonight. Hanging out. All right. And just so you know, these are printed on uh, USPC, C, USPCC, on thin crush stock. My favorite kind. Thin Crush Stock. I love that stuff. So there you go. Those are brand new and available. And someone just won those. So there you go. Uh, Matt Johnson says, card cuts are just up the road from my place. That's cool, man. Have you been there? I'm, I'm guessing you've checked them out. It's pretty cool. All right. Very cool. Uh, let me look at my list real quick. I have showed you everything that I was going to show you back in stock wise. I was also going to show you some other stuff that I did. Showed you the American Prayer Vases. Again, a little recap here as we start to wrap up. Uh, these are available in different colors, five different colors. We gave one away to a lucky winner tonight, uh, but you can get one of these from your favorite magic shop in your choice. And the cool thing is uh, they're 25 bucks, but they don't look like the classic cheap prop you get in a magic set. Uh, this is based on like the genie bottle type of thing uh, where you put the rope in and the bottle stays suspended and you can do it the other way around too. So that is uh, something that is out there. Uh, also showed you the switch cup, which is a great super visual switching device. Uh, looks really, really good. Uh, Poker Test 2.0, back in stock. Grab it today from your favorite magic shop. Showed you that. As well as the only one, uh, a blank deck of cards. And their thought of card really is the only printed card in the deck. Very, very cool stuff. Uh, and yes, on Friday, you do have the Genesis system coming out from Adam Wilbur. Uh, this was your preview tonight. We, sh we showed that earlier. Uh, so make sure that you check that out on Friday to see more about it. And there is also the, where's the other one? The Baffling Blocks. This is on Monday, Monday, Monday. I showed you your preview for this tonight as well. This is not out yet, um, but I did show you this earlier. So if you wanna watch the replay, look at the playlist below the video and that will be there for you. Uh, also a little reminder about any card. It is not brand new, but it is your throwback for this week. And I was gonna show you one more thing and I'm gonna give away one of these too. These are also back in stock. Oh yeah! These are a great way to hold your decks of cards. I know some people want to display them. Um, this is a way to store them and kind of display them because this is a cardboard brick box for 12 decks and it does have a viewing window. That's what they call the little clear part there, the, the viewing window. Um, these are from our friends over at the uh, Carrot Company. Um, you can see here they do hold 12 decks. We're going to give one of these boxes away to someone right now, okay? I'm gonna hook someone up with uh, one of these boxes to hold your decks of cards. So Carrot Creations, um, these are the guys that make these and a lot of other displays for your decks of cards. So I thought it'd be fun to hook someone up with these. Uh, what would you guys put in here? What kind of cards would you be putting in this box? It does hold 12, I believe, a brick. Uh, which decks would you guys be adding to this if you want it? And yeah, David, no skills required. Just putting it together, I guess. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Uh, Malik says, only if I had some decks of cards. Well, Malik, if you win, I'll throw in at least one deck of cards with that. If you do win. I'm saying that up front. If you, if you, if you do win that, I'm throwing in uh, at least one deck of cards for you. Let's go with it, okay? Uh, Mitchell Alon says he's going to put his butterflies in there. 
Uh, Daniel says his cherries. I love those cherries. Uh, Jean-Luc says Madison decks. Travis says trick decks. Uh, Ryan says his gaffs will be going up in there. Uh, Elon also says his bikes. All right. Travis and the Knox. All right. The Knox going in there. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Malik. Yeah, I'll throw in some stuff for you. Uh, Mark Dex, okay. Dwayne says his orbits. All right. All right. More cherries coming in and Phoenix Dex for Seth. Okay. So a quick reminder, these are available from your favorite magic shops. They are only like eight bucks, not even seven fifty. Uh, so if you want to pick one of these up today from your favorite magic shop, I say to do it. But we are going to give one away right about now because you guys are awesome. <laughs> So here we go. I hit the wheel again, so I had to stop it. <laughs> so here we go. 177 of you out there. Going to give away uh, one of these boxes uh, right now. Uh, Jerry's Nuggets out there. Uh, Chris Cavanaugh's thinking about a different type of thing to hide in there. All right. <laughs> Jean-Luc also with the Blaine decks. Okay. Those are cool. Uh, Warren with the Jerry's Nuggets. All right. All right. MPH decks. Very cool. All right. And Alan's going with the Mentalism decks. All right. So there we go. A nice variety of stuff. Daniel Ricks, thank you for the love. If you haven't followed Daniel and Tyler's suit there, if you haven't followed what they've done, please do it to it. Drop us some love out there. It does help us. All right. And Evan says, I'm not on there yet, so let me make sure I get Evan out there on the wheel as well. Evan, there you go, my friend. I got you all hooked up, okay? All right. Uh, also, RK Magic says Fontaines. Throwing in some Fontaines. And Gavin Wong says his Gatorbacks. All right, there we go. So, uh, who's going to win it? We are going to find out right about now. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. Here we go, right about now. Let's find that together, my friends. Let's slow it on down. Let's slow it on down. Here we go. 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 And who is it? Who is it? Brian Jackson, a new face out there. Congratulations. Congratulations going out to Brian Jackson. I love it. I love it. See some new people out there winning some stuff. So let me just take a quick note here of Brian Jackson. Brian Jackson. There we go. I got you all hooked up, my friend. And uh, Brian, do me a favor. Uh, drop me an email right about there. Luke at Murphy'sMagic.com. All right. All right. Go ahead and do it to it right there. And uh, make sure to hit me up so I can get you that. We'll get your information and all that fun stuff. And uh, we'll send that out to you ASAP. So congratulations. Of course, you get one of these just like everybody does. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You betcha, man. You betcha. Brian Jackson out there. All right. So congrats to you and all of our winners tonight. We've got Doug Mingus. We've got Manny DiMago, Jin the Magician, Audrey Jukarmi. I know I'm probably pronouncing your name wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, Maxime uh, Dur Dur Durocher, Brian Jackson, and our, our weekly giveaway winners from last week, Bill Sharp and Derek Bumpus. Those were the weekly giveaway winners who picked up a free copy of the 4K Color Vision. Uh, Jen wants to know, when do we email? You can email me now. I'm probably not going to get to it till the morning because we're uh, wrapped up here for our work day. Uh, but I will get it to you ASAP. We'll get in touch ASAP, okay? Uh, and if you didn't win any of our live giveaways tonight, make sure, my friends, that you do enter our weekly giveaway. Here are the details flying on your screen right here. Make sure you do both of these things. Uh, do the first one and also comment. And YouTube people, always make sure you comment below the video. The live chat doesn't count. Make sure you comment below the video. Maybe your favorite item from this week. We talked about a lot of different magic tricks. Tell me your favorite uh, or tell me maybe something that you bought that you're working on uh you know maybe something like that so make sure though you post it in the comments below the video those are the people i pull from um that end up on the wheel for a giveaway and make sure you do the first part too that does matter too uh every little bit does help when you do this so if you haven't done it yet do it to it appreciate you guys much love um have i seen great magicians there's been some good stuff elon yeah there's been some good people uh patrick coon still around i believe 
Uh, unfortunately, Matt Johnson uh, didn't make it, but maybe he'll come back as a wild card. Uh, there's been some other great guys out there as well. Um, and Leah Kyle, I guess she's kind of considered a magician with her quick change, which looks amazing. So good luck to all the people out there on AGT this season. Um, we should definitely try to help them out if we can, you know? And Magic Corner says they just bought the 4K color vision. It is good stuff. And for 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. You, you absolutely cannot go wrong with that too. So, yeah. So that's our weekly giveaway. And that is all I got for you guys and gals tonight. Uh, if you were one of the winners, I'll drop it here one more time. That's the email address to get in touch with me to claim your prize. If you don't claim it, I'm keeping it. All for me. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to keep it, but you know. So, there you go. Uh, and if you haven't yet, make sure to turn on those notifications so when we do bring up more videos like this, um, you will know about them. Okay? It does help to get notified automatically. There's so much stuff that you watch and look at. So, yeah. All right, do it to it. Um, and just change one quick little thing, and we are going to go ahead and get out of here. So thank you guys for being here. Uh, this reminder, one more time, if you haven't done it yet, I'd appreciate it. Because we give you guys a lot. That's the least you can do is drop one of those for us, all right? All right. And these three things coming on in are right about there. Don't forget to do that, that, and that. Turn on those notifications. Do it to you. All right. Keep an eye out for a chat with me and Craig Petty very, very soon. All about his visible project. Giving you all the details about that and much, much more. All right. So let me find my music and we are going to scoot on out of here. Thank you guys for being here. This is Taco Tuesday in full effect. We are done. Hope you enjoyed the magic. Hope you enjoyed the fun. I know I did. And we will catch you right here next week at 8 p.m. Eastern time to do it all over again. All right. All right. See you guys. Oh, yeah.